Um, there's a few things to remember. Um, you probably already know this already, but don't leave your vehicle idling. You need enough gas to get out of here and go home. Make sure you turn off all of the ignition and any lights or accessories so you don't run down your battery. And if you are having a little car trouble, please raise your foot to notify a road and security officer or parking attendant of an emergency or other situation requiring attention. And now for the rest of you, our air show checklist. Make sure you've got your sunscreen on. And don't forget those lips. You don't want to burn those. commotion that you heard out front from the Harvards was them doing their pre-flight checks of the engine, making sure everything is as it should be. It involves running up to a certain speed and switching between the two magnetos that each air... And there's a simple gauge of that. If you're not using the porta potty, you're not drinking enough. Believe it or not, that's pretty simple, but that tells you what's going on with your body. So take care of yourself, as Nancy said. Be kind to you first. It takes a lot to put on an air show like this. Lots of volunteers who work tirelessly all year long just to put this together. Commonwealth Air Training Plan. And yes, this airplane was also used here in the United by the United States. And as a matter of fact, the most used advanced trainer in World War II. This time through, they're going to tip up and give you a look at the bottom side of the airplane as they go by. If you look real close, you can see the wheels do not get enclosed. They retract, but they're exposed under the wing as they go by. They're over 17. I think they're going to transition into a trail formation here. We'll see. That's the plan, and that's what they're doing. One ahead of the other. Now, the guy up front's watching where he's going. The guy in the back is keeping his eyes fixed on that big airplane. He already has, through tons of practice, developed a sight picture of how that airplane should look. And he works the throttle and the stick to stay in place. And they're going to do a break, what they would normally do to space for landing. So you'll see the first airplane pull out, and there he goes. Second airplane will continue down a little ways to get space between it, and you'll see it developing. There he goes. So now they would be set up for landing one after the other on the runway without running over each other. Today slated to be Scott McMaster, Alan Page, and Tony Donnelly. I do not know with us. After they 
they've landed and while they're taxiing by again they cannot hear you clapping or yelling or anything like that but they can sure see you waving so if you're near where they taxi past wave your hat your hands your program or something let them know how much you appreciated their flight today See the pilot that's landed, carrying the airplane well down the runway before...